Yep, we are now recording our Chaos Community Call on October 8, 2019. Welcome, everyone. How's it going? So I honestly, personally, don't have a lot today. I know that we're, just so people know, we're using part of this meeting and when we're done talking about community things to talk about events. So the start, it was going to start at half past, but I think it might be possible we start sooner unless people have issues they would like to bring up. So this is the non-agended meeting. So are there things that people would like to chime in on? Maybe, Sean, you could give an update on the Grace Hopper OSD stuff that you did. Yeah. Um, so Chaos had a uh, workshop, uh, uh, we call it a hackathon, at Grace Hopper last week on Thursday, and we hacked on Augur. We had uh, 10 total participants, which was about on par, and three contributions in that period. A lot of enthusiasm from the participants. We had uh, uh, varying degrees of skill and interest, but it was, um, I mean, varying degrees of like experience and things people were interested in. But uh, I think it was a really, it was a really good showing for, for chaos at uh, Grace Hopper, I think. Was it all day? It, it was a one day event, right? Yeah, it was an all day event on Thursday. Okay, so what did yeah. they end up working on? They ended up working on installation instructions. So one person took on Windows installation. Uh, another group of people took on uh, building tests for, for Augur. And a third group of people took on building out new API endpoints. Okay. And so we have all that work committed um, into one of the branches from Grace Hopper that will be merging. So we had a, we had a separate branch for the event, just so. Yep. That's nice. Um, any hopes in continuing to work? With yeah, I mean, uh, definitely okay. we hope to, yeah, we can, we certainly have a couple of people that I think are going to potentially contribute to the project on an ongoing basis. You never know. Okay. And I think, you know, we obviously, I think it was a great experience for our students. And I think uh, I'm hopeful that we're able to participate with Grace Hopper in this way on an ongoing basis because I think their open source day is one way of helping to bridge um, the differences in technology, I guess I'd say. Mm -hmm. um, I was pretty excited. I was happy yeah. they reached out to us. So I was, yeah. I was, yeah, I was, yeah, I was ecstatic and it was fun. Okay, did you stick around for Grace Hopper? Um, I actually, so they give you a ticket and I gave my ticket to one of my students. Okay, it, uh, I think a talented undergraduate. Uh, she probably got a lot more out of it than an old guy like me would have. So okay. made the maximal use of the opportunity. Mm, that's nice. All right, yeah. cool. Well, I'd like to go in the future sometime. I've never been. Yeah. All right. Uh, so thank you for that update. Um, what else? Are there any working group updates, people, things that people want to bring forward that are on their mind? Um, I, from DNI, we were working on Monday, uh, reviewing some of the existing DNI surveys. Uh -huh. And I think it was really interesting because I didn't have the time to have a look at them. But what we were doing was to go through, well, the first four or five, I don't remember which were, uh, what, were what we were reviewing. But basically what we were doing was to go through several questions that they had there and, uh, uh, have some brainstorming to double check if some of those questions might be worth exploring and bring to the DNI working group as a new metric, for instance, and, and so okay. on. So I think that was quite uh, interesting, at least from my, in my opinion. So again, this is the survey that would be run at the ASF? Oh, uh, well, the, the work we were doing on Monday was uh, oh to go through the existing surveys around right. the world, let's say, okay. and then how we can bring knowledge from those surveys into the NI in the chaos uh, community. Was there anything in particular that stood out? Um, I don't know. So I, oh, that's a good question. I don't have an answer right now. <laughs> well, from, from my perspective, is the surveys all focused on demographic Mm -hmm. Questions, yeah. just to get 
information. They seem to all want to get information on how diverse is the current set of people who answer our survey. Okay. Um, and there was very little in terms of inclusion. Okay. The Apache survey had a few. Um, if, if there were questions, it was typically around mentorship. Mm -hmm. And how did you ask questions? Did you mentor someone? Uh, how was that experience? Where do you go for resources? And that, that was the end of what I remember seeing. Okay. So less about, more about, as you mentioned, the demographics, but less about feeling included or issues related to inclusion within the community about having well, a voice. Oh, yeah. We also didn't get through that many surveys, right? I mean, I dropped off early, so maybe you guys blew through a whole bunch of other ones. Yeah, I think we did two or three after you left. Okay. okay, so not that many, but even if we look at the list, there are not that many surveys to be had, at least from what we collected so far. Okay. So I think, yeah. I think the work that we are doing, I hope, is going to lend itself to much improved future surveys on focusing on the inclusion part. Okay. But the mentorship thing was interesting because there was a specific uh, question about if you were a mentee and then if you were willing to mentor, which is a couple of good questions. That was one. Yeah, how is the mentorship? Is that Was that different than the mentorship metric at the moment? Because I think the mentorship metric, I'm not looking at it, but it's kind of aimed at mentorship being available. In the community, so that might be a way to think about, like the the desire to be a mentor. I don't recall what we currently have. I'm gonna okay. open it real quick. I think it's kind of two different ways of looking at things, or looking at mentorship. Um, while you're looking that up, I thought I feel like I've seen a few people starting to express interest too in the repository, the DNI repository of ways to participate. Uh, you know, that reminds me, I wanted to bring it up during the meeting that we go through the issues on the repository and I completely okay. placed it. I have to put on the agenda for next week. Okay, because it seemed like there were two or three people who had expressed interest in helping in a variety of ways, maybe one with the survey, one individual with the survey helping in that regard and one maybe with some repository management or like cleanup stuff. Does that ring a bell to you? I saw the notifications that there were issue comments and I okay. didn't respond to them. Um, I'll, I'll take a look maybe after this meeting just to make sure those are responded to. You know what I mean? Just to keep people engaged. Yeah. So, okay. Um, okay, sounds good. Um, okay, any other working groups, comments? I always say I have nothing to say, but I actually have a couple things to say. So one is um, I, I really do encourage I will continue to encourage folks from Grimoire Lab and folks from Augur to at least participate in the working groups with an effort of being able to identify metrics that are already deployed in the tooling that are not currently captured in the metrics write-up, the markdown mm -hmm. file. Um, it's, a, it, it's a very simple path, I think, Maybe not simple, but it, it has the potential to be an easier path in the development of a metric if it's already currently deployed in Augur and or Grimoire Lab. So you're already, you've already done the work, you've already thought through the complex issues. And I also think that with the, what I believe to be a lower overhead on putting together a metric now, just in terms of the description and the objectives of the metric with ways of 
visualizing the metric, that it, it may actually be a fairly, um, a little bit more of a straightforward process Oops. than it has been in the past. So, so again, encouraging folks from Grimoire Lab or Augur and or Augur to participate in those work group meetings when you can to draw those out. All right. Um, cool. Uh, I still have, by the way, I still have on my to-do list going through each working group's former metrics or version one metrics with the intention of re, um, kind of rewriting them to the new template, metrics template. Again, that doesn't affect anything on the metric at all. So that's still an action item for me and I didn't do it. So <laughs> it shouldn't take terribly long. I really honestly don't think it will. Um, so maybe I'll just start this week. So you may be seeing a series of pull requests around existing metrics coming from me. And all of that is, is a redesign or a retemplating of your prior metric. All right. Um, okay. Anything else on working groups? Common evolution risk, Sean? Risk? No, risk nothing meeting. new since last week. Okay. Um, we're missing. Oh, value. I don't see Andy on at the moment. All right. Um, so I've said this a couple times. I'll say it again before we kind of move on. But um, the if you have a chance to attend the software group, so the Grimoire Lab or the Augur sessions, they are super interesting. <laughs> um, I find them extremely enlightening, and they give me a, a really great look under the hood of how these tools work. Um, and I think it's also a really nice session, at least from my perspective, to talk through issues that um, may be encountered by the particular pieces of software, get a better understanding of what's on the roadmap and what's not on the roadmap for the particular pieces of software. So I do really encourage everybody to participate in those meetings. For a, for a while, I wasn't, I was only going to participate in the Augur one just from a time perspective, but the Grimoire Lab one has been so interesting that I really don't like to miss it <laughs> during the week. So I, I go. <laughs> it's an hour that I'm happy to afford. Um, so anyway, I do encourage you and I really do thank um, Sean and your team and then Enrique and Daniel and Georg and all the folks with Grimoire Lab for taking the time to put these together. I do think they're extremely valuable. Um, Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Oh, all right. Um, anything else for people? Um, all right. Georg, did you have anything that you wanted to bring up? The I wanted to thank everyone who took a look at the blog post that I shared on the mailing list and provided feedback. Thank you very much. I created a pull request, so as soon as Kevin I think you're the only one maintaining the website right now. As soon as you get a chance to post it on the website, that would be great. I will do that right now. Excellent, thank you. And then I saw Kevin send out an email about the communication group. I will unfortunately have to miss the meeting. Um, a proposal that I have is to use the weekly calls on Tuesdays for the coordination, like what we're doing with the events, that we just block out 10 minutes, 15 minutes, once a month or so to coordinate, rather than scheduling a separate meeting. I think that's a good idea. That's what I was thinking as well. Yeah. We have this space, so if we can tuck some things into it like that, that makes a ton of sense to me. Okay. Uh, for the for ongoing coordination, that's what I was thinking. But I, I do believe that we have to have uh, kind of a meeting to to get things rolling and started. So. Okay. Yeah. And I am uh, I did send out the, uh, the email uh, with the date selected, but I I am 
if you want to come to that meeting, Georg, I'm, I'm willing to reschedule. I just kind of picked a day at random. Um, I don't need to be there. I'm sure you can <laughs> work without me just fine. I, I'm just on vacation, so I will not be there. I'll be there. Being on vacation is the best excuse for anything. <laughs> I don't buy it. But anyway, <laughs> I'll, I'll keep you posted as to how things go. I'm happy to um, happy to catch up with you. So, okay, great. Uh, okay, cool. Anything else? Like I said, I have a pretty light agenda today. Seeing that we don't have an agenda. All right. Anybody chiming in? Uh, I know that Georg, you had, we could talk about events, ChaosCon. Now I know that you had kind of blocked out 1130. Who was on that list? I mean, is it okay if we start that meeting now? I think so. You're muted. I am? No. <laughs> um, I think Georg. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I mute myself? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you deprive us of that <laughs> banter. Um, the, the chaos con is dr coming closer, and there are a few things we need to do. So I would send out an email on the events mailing list. I, I'm not sure that everyone else who's on the call saw it. Um, the idea is to use our time here while we're all blocked out the hour to just spend the last 30 minutes, 20 minutes, however much time we have to plan the event. But we can always start sooner. I just put it on the calendar to make sure we all remember. Well, then why don't we go ahead and why don't we go ahead and start? Unless somebody has anything else they want to bring up with respect to Chaos Weekly. I think things are rolling along pretty well right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree that we can start. Okay. Turn it over to you, Georg, for that. I am sharing in the chat a planning document. And everyone is welcome to stay on the call if you want to help plan the chaos con or if you're just curious what happened. But I will certainly be not offended if you drop off as well. Um, so I just shared the document for the, um, for the planning document. Should we record this or not? I I'm not sure if we want to record the planning sessions for. We could stop. So the weekly okay. meeting is over. Yeah, 